Hi everyone. This is a, a painting that is a work in progress. It's and uh, I, I'm going to put it in a local exhibit here in Harrisburg. It, it's a figurative exhibit. I'm going to adjust my camera. It's a figurative exhibit and um, it's done with a limited palette. I used only two colors plus black and white. The colors I used was raw sienna and chromium ox oxide green. Those are the only two plus black and white which made grays and I muted some of my colors with gray and uh, such as this this is showing up black but this is a real <coughs> this is brown <coughs> and I mixed this color with a raw sienna and black and I came up with this color and um, I'm just about finished with it the whites which is a creamy white <coughs> is uh, raw sienna with lots of white in it it's more of a warm white so I'm going to finish this today so that's the plan and the size is uh, 36 by 48. <coughs> and I am using acrylic. And this is almost the same value. Uh, there's a little bit of this raw sienna over here. I'm going to change up this value a little bit. And I've mixed up a lighter brown and I put it on my brayer. But you can see I did not charge my brayer because um, I want more of a pattern to show up. You might not be able to see that. But I just wanted to change the value of this brown a little bit. better. It's not the same value now. I also wanted to put a hint of green in it. Change that value of that green a little bit. I'm hoping you can see that and I also have now a, a softer edge than what I did. Might put a little bit of green right there. As you can see, I'm just barely changing this. That's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lot it. That doesn't take enough off, then I'll wet it. like that. And I'm doing all of these. I'm putting a little bit on top of this dark line so it's broken into. into this area as well. You'll see it when I give you the close-up. I put a little bit here so it does take your eye through. This is a different green. It's, it's the same oxide green, but it has raw sienna in it. I just wanted to change the green up just a little bit to go along with the 
raw sienna. Something else I, I want to point out to you that's not working. This and this and this almost line up. Can you see that? This is a little bit higher, but not much. And to counterbalance that, what I'm thinking about doing is taking a curve, since this is going this way, taking a curve and bringing it down this way. That's the thought. Now, I have to figure out if that's what I want to do or not. Do it. I'm going to do it with my. If I do it with my brayer. Well, you can't see that because my uh, brayer is dry already. I'm thinking about doing it in a gray. This will be a better way to do it. So, I don't want to start it from the middle. I want to start it up, but I don't want to start directly across from here. So maybe I'll start about right here and just go up. Now, I'm going to go. I'm going to look at that to see if I like it. And I think I do. go the whole way up. I want to breach this line just a little bit. I'm going to take that white away. Then I, I say to myself, do I want to take it up into that? Let's try it. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. Yeah. It skipped right here, and that's good. I like that. Now, but I don't like the uh, white in the lines, so I'm going to take the white away. I don't want I don't want this to be the first thing that you see. I like it. I think I'm going to take a color over top of that, right here. This is pure sienna. I want to push it back a little bit. No, I don't like that. I just want you to barely see it. I'm going to cover it up. Try it in another color, in a smaller circle in black. There's one 
nice thing about acrylic. It's easy to cover up, so never be afraid to do something. Very easy to cover up. I'm going to have to go back over this with something. green back in but you can see how easy it was for me to get rid of that there is a circle started right here can you see that we we'll do it in black or maybe put in that dark brown just to see what happens and I'm just going to going to bring it through here. I'll do that. Well, I like that a lot better than the light color. Don't know. Don't like it here. Lord have mercy. Now I'm going to put some more brown there to cover up that line. It's fine. I think it just needs to be pushed back a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push it back with my brayer. back enough. Whoops. Looks like my camera's sliding down. Here we go. We're going back up again. Now see I like that better because it's not as predominant as it was. Push it back a little bit more right into here. I wanted to make it look like it's history. I think I like that. Yeah. See that? It's pushed back a lot. This one is pushed back a lot further than this one. This one looks like it's been there longer. I like it. It is a different size than this. We have some small circles. That's one thing that's important. When you have different shapes, you want them in different sizes. My camera keeps going down. I'm sorry, guys. This is smaller. This is larger than that. 
even though this is almost the same size as that. This is smaller, so it doesn't look bad. This is larger than those. This is a little bit larger, yes. Yeah. And then we have a smaller one, a smaller one, and a smaller one. And up here is a kind of a hidden one. With your eyes only. can't buy in this I lighten this up, this part of the circle, because all of this is the same value, and I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I just made it a hair lighter. I don't want your eye to go directly right to there, but I want you to not be bored with the value of this. Now, looking at it in the Looking at it in the uh, screen, I'm thinking that it needs a little bit more white over on this side. And I'm thinking about adding a small white line right here. Um, I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I'll wipe it off. And I want to make it that warm white. I want it to be pure white. I think I'm going to use the masking tape, and I do this quite a bit. I'll, when I draw my lines, like all of this was done with masking tape, so I have some sh sharp, crisp lines. I want that line to be just a little bit thicker. I'm just going to do that. This is the opposite of these going in this direction. Maybe I want another one. Or do I want a thin black line right there? These are all things that I think about. And these are things that I try. If I think about it, I will usually try it. It's one of those what if. What would it look like if? And if you ever think that to yourself, do it. Because you can always take it off. I think I'm going to do it down here. I'm liking that. I'm going to put an even thinner one right in the black. Because this black line here, if you look at my other lines, is almost the same width as this line. 
So I think I'm going to break that line up a little bit. if you can see that, but I can. You'll see it later. These are just kind of some finishing touches that I want to do. My other thought was, do I want to make this white instead of black? I'm thinking maybe I do, because it will lighten up this area over here a little bit. Lighten that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try to make that one white. If I don't like it, then I'll make it black again. Now those other, these three are, are white with a little bit of green in it. And I'm going to, that's what I'm doing again. Is I'm just mixing it up a little bit. is the same as this. I'm thinking it's going to get a little darker as it dries. Although right now it's looking very bright green. Maybe I want to put some gray over that. Do I like or do I want to go back to black? I'm going to blot it and I'm going to paint it black. This is what you do at the end of your paint. You see what works and what doesn't work. Maybe if I just push it back a little bit by wiping it. That doesn't look too bad. like that because there's a little bit left. You'll see it. You'll see it a little bit later when I show you the close-up. Just trying to correct a few things. I wanted to make that this line thinner than that line. see it goes from thin to thick. I don't want to correct every line because I want some of them to be messy. Some of the things that I'm doing right now you can't see but I'm just adding more interest to certain areas and this is this is the subject right here but it's very uninteresting.
change this value up a little bit. working either. know that this area would be lighter than this area but at the same time I say to myself it's an abstract Linda so finished guys, but I've said that before, haven't I? Maybe I want to round this a little bit. bring out some more texture. Just looking at it all over now to see if there's anything I want to change. I like how this is very, this is a soft line here as opposed to this is a hard line. This is a little bit covered up. I'm going to try something. If I don't like it, I'll wipe it off. I'm just trying to bring your eye over the, to this area.
I do, I like that. You can see I'm hand drawing most of these because I don't want it to look mechanical. And they don't have to be perfect circles. I'm making one edge wider than the other, as you can see. But I think. that. This might come off. It's coming off. need something right there. What do I need, guys? What if I made it white? And here. Oh, yes. little bit brighter right there. Make it a little bit brighter right here. thing that I'm not liking is this hard line right there. Let me see if I can fix that and then I'm going to call it done. That's better. I like that better. mimics this. I have a lot of hard lines and I have soft lines. That's that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to call it done. And once again, just so you guys know, I no longer sign on the front of my paintings. I always sign my signature on the back. Uh, I've been I had switched over to doing that probably maybe six, seven months ago. My cold wax, I never signed on the front. I signed those on the back. But my acrylic, I usually signed on the front. Well, I'm going to be consistent now, so I am going to be signing all of my paintings on the back, whether they be acrylic, oil, cold wax, whatever. But I do believe that this is finished. subscribe guys I really would appreciate okay, it this is what it looks like straight on thanks give you some closer close-up shots of course this is the focal area 
and I changed up the values. Here you can see I messed up that line there so it wasn't such a straight hard line. And that kind of balances out those black shapes right there. You can see I've added some green. My green down here has different colors in it, so it's not all the same value. The black is a little bit lighter there, and then closer to here it's a little bit lighter. You probably can't see that on screen. And there's his back. You can see a lot of the texture going on there, which I like. The belt area, I made lighter at the one end and darker at the other. And here's some greens that I, I laid across. You can see I, I put green on top of the brown and it goes up into that green up there. And there's one that I changed to white, wiped most of the white off. So only a little bit of it showing and there's the circle that I added, which I like now. There's some lines. Now, that white line there, I think I'm going to continue that out over that dark circle right there. That's the only thing that I see that I want to change my, some of my circles, some of the texture. So that's what she looks like right now, and I really thank you for watching me finish this piece. You can see the raw sienna around his head. I lightened all of that up originally because I wanted that to be the focal area. So that light raw sienna is lighter there than it is anywhere. So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And I lighten that right circle over on the right side under, those, under these lines here. I lighten that up just a little bit so that value would be a little different as well. So thanks for watching.